Mogul Motivation, educating and empowering entrepreneurs one week at a time. Presented by True Stories Media. And I am your host, Antoine Twiz Taylor. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us again with another episode of Mogul Motivation. This is our 50th episode, and I am just happy and delighted that you guys have tuned in every single week um, supporting the podcast, supporting what I'm trying to do, and basically receiving all of my information and motivation that I give every week. So I really appreciate you all for listening in week in and week out. This week, I want to discuss the inconvenient truth, however. Um, there's a difference between entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs, and I think one of the biggest differences is entrepreneurs always have it in them. And when I say always have it in them, it's not um, a coincidence when an entrepreneur wakes wakes up one day and decides to start a business. That's not a coincidence. Um, I feel like. The vision and the seed is planted deep down inside in the entrepreneur's mind from from the start, from when you're a kid. Uh, For example, when I was a kid, for some strange reason, I was infatuated with taking over Toys R Us. I literally wanted to own my own Toys R Us. Now, obviously, one reason is because I love toys, just as every kid does, but I always would tell my mom, I want to own Toys R Us. I want to name my Toys R Us the ultimate Toys R Us. You know, I always had those dreams as a kid. Um, When I got a little older, I was infatuated with owning my own amusement park. Um, I was always in love with Disney movies and, you know, cartoons and things like that. And I just really wanted to own my own amusement park. I wanted to name it Taylor's World, Twiz's World. Um... And as time went on and as I got older, you know, I started to take entrepreneur classes and, you know, junior high, high school, um, you know, anything that dealt with entrepreneurship. But it wasn't until after I graduated from college in 2010 um, that I really started to think and realize, you know what, I can do this. And I only say all of that to say I truly believe it's the same for every other entrepreneur. I feel like you always have that vision and that seed in your mind from the very start that you want to own your own business. You don't know what it is yet, but you know that you want to build the framework around your life. I I truly believe that. So I think that's one of the biggest things about an entrepreneur is either you have that seed buried deep down inside you and you just don't know it yet. Or you know it's there and you're running from it and you're trying to ignore it. But either or is there from the start. It's not the same with entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs, they wake up and they want to start a business. But then two weeks later, they start another business. Three weeks later, they start another business. A month later, they start another business. They don't never see it through. And don't get entrepreneurs confused with not only just entrepreneurs, but serial entrepreneurs. You know, we hear that term serial entrepreneurs, basically entrepreneurs who start a business, then they start another one, then they start another one. The difference is a serial entrepreneur starts a business, builds that business to profitability and success, and then they start another business. Entrepreneurs don't do that. They have ideas. They have great ideas, but it is come a dime a dozen. They they have um, these you know plans that they want to do this and do that, but they never see it through. They do it more so for attention. They do it more so to do it for the glitz and glamour. They don't do it for the real reasons that entrepreneurs start their businesses. And this leads me to the inconvenience truth, ladies and gentlemen. The inconvenience truth. The inconvenient truth is this. Entrepreneurs are willing and voluntarily putting themselves through an inconvenience for a long period of time to reach success. That's what all entrepreneurs have in common, whether you like it or not. When you look at all entrepreneurs, at the root of it, they are willing to put themselves through suffering to reach success. That's the reality, ladies and gentlemen. You have to be willing to inconvenience yourself for years because you believe In what you're doing. You believe in your dream. You have to be willing to do that. You have to be willing to put your spouse. Through an inconvenience. You see the reality is. A lot of. A lot of spouses. A lot of significant others. Don't have the patience to deal with entrepreneurs. 
They don't understand why you're doing what you're doing. We could just get a job. And most entrepreneurs do have jobs because you have to pay the bills and you have to get things going until you can get your business where you where you are. But some people believe you shouldn't even be doing that. Why are you wasting your time building this little gimmick where you could be focusing on your nine to five and taking your career to the next level? A lot of significant others believe that. A lot of friends believe that. A lot of family believe that. You see, the reality is entrepreneurs don't have employee mindsets. Majority of the world have employee mindsets. And even when you're working a job, you can still have an entrepreneurial mind, but most people don't. They don't understand the fact that you're inconveniencing yourself and your family for a greater good. That's the inconvenient truth, ladies and gentlemen. You have to be willing to put yourself through this for a long period of time and see it through and persevere through all of this inconvenience so that for the rest of your life, you can live conveniently. That's what it's all about. You have to get through the inconvenience to live a convenient life, the life that you always wanted to live, the life that you wanted to build the framework of your passion around. So that's my message this morning, ladies and gentlemen. You have to understand the inconvenient truth of entrepreneurship because there's nothing fancy about it. There's nothing beautiful about it. When you have that dream, when you have that vision that no one can understand, no one can understand why you turn down certain jobs or certain opportunities because you believe in your business and in your dream. So let's continue to work. Let's continue to imagine reality and let's continue to fight through that inconvenience in all assets of our life because eventually we're going to get to that convenient place that we're striving for. Have a great day, ladies and gentlemen.